Hello everybody, Reaper X1 here again, back playing some more Terra Tech once again, and this time it's not the Canary Tester version, it is actually the unstable version of 0.7.3.4. Oh, I got that one pretty good there. Ah, no stuttering, no stammering, no none of that. Oh, I'm doing alright today. So how are you guys doing? Are you all having a good one? I hope so, because that's my main goal, is everyone has a good one, which also in turn helps me have a good one. That's a pretty good little theory I come up with, I find. And, seems to be pretty good. Seems to work. Seems to be... Uh, we'll say true. Because, it can wreck a day when someone else is having a hard day. Kind of feel bad for them a little bit. But anyway, there's no feeling bad here. We're all having a good one, I'm hoping. I'm gonna assume we are. So before I get too far into this inquiring my new base I would like to thank you for joining me welcome as always I hope you enjoy what you're about to see and if you do so hey how about helping me fuel up my little channel all it, it runs on really really uh, cost-effective uh, fuel it's very cheap it's great mileage and you can get it easily it's actually free all you need to do Throw some likes down, some comments, some suggestions, feedbacks, constructive criticisms, all that stuff is super helpful, really awesome, and fills the tank right nice. And then also, if you just want to put in like the extra five dollar worth of worth in the tank, throw a subscription at it, ding the bell, get notified when there's something new that hopefully you'll enjoy just as much as the first one you've seen that made you think, hey, I should subscribe to this guy's channel. I hope you do, because so far it's been a lot of fun, and it would not be nowhere near as much fun without you guys putting in your bits here and there, coming and enjoying what we got going on here, challenging me, build challenges and stuff. There's been a quite a run there in the last little bit. I think I've had like four or five challenges. I actually got one more. Maybe two more, I think. I can't remember exactly. There's been a lot of them. But I'm working on some other ones. I just got to get the video put together. Maybe some fine touches. But as you know, I also have this other little project, I'll say, going on. Where I will more than happily take the cool and original text that you guys have built. And if you would like to see them in a video... It will be on my channel, but if you'd like to see them in a video, keep in mind, I do have the Saturday Showcase, where I do take those cool and original texts from community build, or uh, viewer build, community build, technologist built awesomeness. We'll put it like that, I like that. And I will more than happily make a video out of them, and I'll do the best damn job I can. Now all you guys need to do is take an in-game snapshot of said cool and original text or your save game, either one or both works. And you know, if there's any instructions to go along with them to make them run is the best of their ability, throw that in there too. And just, there's a link right down in my description for the Saturday Showcase Auditions. Just click on that, it'll take you to a thread that I started on the TerraTech forum. Post your in-game snapshot save game there. Oh, grade three, yeah. And uh, it'll let me know, I'll find them, I'll make the video, I'll let you know through the forums. And, you know what? I think we'll have a lot of fun sharing ideas, inspiring others, and just having an all-around fun time. I've got a few of them done up, well, more than a few of them done already. And so far, it's been pretty fun. Seems like I've been doing something kind of alright, I haven't had any complaints. And, you know what? There's been a few times where those showcases have inspired my ideas and that was the main reason I even kind of started doing them just to share ideas help others and just in general have a lot of fun that's the main reason I even started my YouTube channel was just to enjoy this game a little more and to share my ideas because my texts tend to get a little too big for the community core that uh, the developers of Terra Tech put on every week they can't run them I can barely run them. I gotta super edit the video to make them nice. So I figured I better just make some video. 
and I've always been interested in video. So there's the offer. If you sounds interesting, hit it up. It might take me a bit. I have a, had a, quite a little bit of a flood of auditions there the last week, so I got some works to do. But I don't I don't do the first come first serve. I do what I feel in the mood for. So if you got some cool flyers, I'll get to you on a flying day. If you got a mix, I'll just get to get to it on a let's have a fun day. Just I don't know. I find if I do it that way, I enjoy it more, and the videos turn out better. I don't like to be forced, like to force myself to do things. So. Because it, it does show in the, the final product. And as you can see here, I's be having the fun. Because, oh, the carnage and all the new blocks that I could have if I had my skew. It'll be coming, though. It's got to be. I'm in grade three. Oh, there's a mission right there. Nice. Oh, and the venture one. But you might notice I only got the one license open. Yeah, there's a reason. There was a comment sent in to me by a, a fellow techologist, and they were kind of pondering if it would actually work that if you didn't unlock the GeoCore Venture and Hawkeye licenses, is if you'd be able to progress through the GSO license faster. Well, I was kind of wondering that too after he uh, brought that up, and I was also wondering would it let me progress? Or are those missions a mandatory part before you can get on to the next bit? Well, so far, it seems to be working. I'm at grade three. I have not unlocked any other licenses, and I'm still getting missions. And the nice thing is, I'm not getting the other. Ooh, I'm almost dying. No! Ooh, got him just in the nick of time. I need a rebuild. But yeah, it seems to be working pretty nice. And I'm just going to wait till probably about grade 5 and then I'm going to open up the other three licenses because then I should have all the really good parts that I want and I'll hopefully then die a lot. That sucks. And right now I can't I don't think I can afford dying. I don't even have five grand yet. Still pretty early in this playthrough. But this little tech here may be an early tech but it may be surprising how far it can make. I've had little techs like this, well before the enemies had shields anyway, actually get me all the way to like grade 5 and maxed out sometimes. It all depends on what parts I get and what I end up feeling like building that day. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of time to do a bit of a rebuild here. Not a rebuild, but a repair I guess. Look at all these lovely blocks. I don't want to leave them. Oh, we got it. We got it. Yeah. That's what I like. All right. Where are you there? Oh, oh, he's behind me still. Jeez. He almost got shot right in my tailpipe. Oh, get in there. Don't let him blow it up. No, you don't. You piss off. You get out of there. I just got the dang thing. It won't let me pick it up. See, that ain't really that cool, man. You drive right in there. I can't even hit your cab directly because it's hiding. Good tactic, though. <laughs> I'll give him that. Fight and collect. Now well, we're going to see what you collect and how you fight. Your fighting is fair. But I'm collecting you. Because <laughs> with my new skew. Hey, it rhymed a little bit. So not too shabby at all. Dispose of the tech gangs next day. Eh? I see. I get myself a nice little base here. Not too shabby. Doesn't really have anything I really want right now, so I'm probably just gonna rip it apart. So on to the next one. So I, I'm just battling my way through here, trying to get all these levels maxed out. Well, the GSO one for now. So I'm, I'm hunting for the generator. The mobile one. Yeah, that static one's fine and dandy, but it doesn't take me places. Nuh-uh, it does not. So, you know, there was another thing I forgot to mention there, right there at the start. About the support and all that coolness. That I kind of got a bit of a giveaway going on. 
But I would like to ask you to consider something. Now the giveaway is about giving a 3D metal printed tech away oh, from the guys that grab it or plastic if you like. So I, I've made five pre-made techs that you could choose from or I'm, I set the, the initial award or reward at a $40 value. Or you could have that $40 value to spend and buy whatever you can through gr the Grabit site. They could be plastic, they could be metal, they could be whatever, but price would be the limit, right? So now here's the part where I ask for your consideration. Now this is something I would like to do, maybe even on a monthly or more frequent basis. It would be really neat because I've got a couple of these techs, the metal ones, and they are freaking awesome. Like, I like them. And I've never really been one for miniatures much and all that. But when you see a tech that you've built, and well, the two I got, they they were uh, from winning challenges. But maybe that's why I like them so much, because they're like the prize that I want. So you could get that same feeling maybe. But they turn out really good. They have just a ton of detail that I didn't think would ha they would have. And they can be in some pretty nice metals. But of course those ones get expensive. So back to the consideration part. Now seeing as I would like to do these on, on the regular, and I don't want it just to be these little $40 techs, because, you know, they're cool, but they're not as cool as the bigger ones. So what I'm asking is if you would be kind enough to go peruse down through my description, <coughs> oh, I've got some goodies there, and find my paypal.me link, that's set up for a $2 uh, charge or fee or whatever. And just fill that in. Follow the steps it takes you. I just put it in your browser, like Google or whatever, and it'll send you to where you need to be. Go through, send the two bucks, so we can keep this going. Because I'm not like a lot of these other YouTubers. I don't have money coming out the yin yang. I don't have any kind of sponsors. I don't, you know... I just do this because it was fun. And, you know, I don't even have a very good computer anymore. The thing's a decade old, so that tells you the funds aren't there. So to keep this going, that $2 donation each time will go towards the next one. And if there's enough of a turnout, those prizes are going to get bigger. Because my goal is to have prizes around the two, $200 mark. Because that's where you get into the, the bigger sized metal ones, or the medium or large scale metal ones, and you can get into the brass, not just the straight steel, and maybe even some silver, because they have some really nice options. The brass and silver look friggin' cool. I got one brass tack, or brass tack, <laughs> not tacks, and I got a metal one. And now they're of the bigger size, and I know they come in at a few dollars. But you know what? If I can get the turnout, the support, and all that, I am more than happy to throw some of that awesomeness right back to you. And there will be at least that one person each time that will get one of those tests. Because it's not. That was weird. Must have had a little skip in the recording. <laughs> Didn't edit something out. <coughs> But if there is a big enough turnout, there could even be more than one prize. Because, like I've said in, a, in my past videos, I'm not just about making the money. That would help, because all the money that is of any kind of profit was, is going to go right back in to my channel. First of all, it's going to upgrade my computer. It's a needed thing. Processor's going. The only good thing I got is a video card. And it was actually gifted to me from a from one awesome fella. I, I give that guy props. He is he's made a huge difference for my little channel, the quality and all that. He helped me figure out the sound issues. It's been amazing the help this guy's given me. And that's it's kind of on his last legs. My PC here, so that's my ideas. That's me just telling it to you the way it is. 
kind of what I got going on my end. Hopefully you kind of understand what I'm saying. If you don't ask, I have no problems answering questions. But for my little channel to really grow, I got to get something working. And I know I only got the one game right now that really anyone's kind of watching this one, which is cool. Cause this is actually the game I originally started my channel for. So this is just been the perfect turnout so far but now if it was to be the ultimate turnout things will improve and slowly they are I'm getting things figured out I'm always learning and that's just how I do wow I got lots of missions I can do now I'm really getting through these crafty businesses one mill so yeah if you could go without a chocolate bar or a cup of coffee or some other normal little thing you wouldn't think twice about buying. Just for that once. And send it on my way. It could make a world of difference. And it could end up with you having a, your own 3D printed metal tech. To play with, to look at, to do what you would like with. So, it's just another one of the things I've been kind of thinking up. Trying to get out. I've been working on a video to actually really kick this off and promote it and actually better explain it and show the text and all that. But I want to get a good recording of my th my printed text. But I don't have a good camera yet. So I'm, I asked my buddy. He just got himself a really nice camera. He's going to come over next time. He is over, actually. And he's going to hopefully remember it. And we're going to do a little recording. And then soon after that, I should have the video made. I know I said I was going to have it up when, the, when I kicked it off. But that's been taking a lot longer than I thought, so I didn't want to really screw things up too bad. I was hoping to start it at the first of the month. I think I jumped the gun by a day or two, though. <laughs> but oh well. We're going to take this invader out, though. Man, I really got gabbed. That went on for a while about that, didn't it? But I just wanted to explain it real good. And hopefully real good. I'm not always the best at explanations. But just so people understand, and everything is through PayPal, the money transactions and that, so there won't be any worries there. The only thing I would need, or I, I do need, and I would ask it if you do participate in that, to please uh, send me a private message with your username on YouTube that I'll be able to call out, and the name that I would see on the PayPal transaction just so I can match them and know who to say, right? I will never give out anything but your username for YouTube. That people can see anyway, right? So there's no risk there. But no other information will be saved, stored, shared, kept for later dates, nothing like that. I'm not that type of person. I hope you guys know that by now. I'm just here to have some fun. Not really looking for any more than that. But I think we can help each other out pretty good in this one. But I think this is kind of getting near around the end of her. It's getting to be a wee bit long. So I'm probably going to call this one here. And since mostly what I've done is just gabbed about this uh, contest or draw or giveaway or support appreciation award. I was thinking of calling that at one point too. That I'm just going to kind of skip to the... I would like to thank you once again for joining me. I hope you did enjoy everything you saw. Yeah, you know what? Before I get into that, I got a little beef with these new rocks. I don't like them. No. They shine, they sparkle, they suck. Sorry, guys. They look good for what they are, but they don't work good in this game. Because do you think I really want to have to do that kind of crap just to find one thing? And it's even the wrong one. It says mine carbite seam. That's not carbite. And it's giving me the thing. So hey, there's a little bug and a little piss off on my end there. I like the color stripe on the rocks. That was way better and something a little flashy and glowing. The desert, you can't see it. <coughs> you gotta get real close to it and no, uh, I don't like that. They're, they're making this take way too long to do stuff. And that's, it's a hindrance. That's gonna keep me in the R&D over the campaign. And I don't want to do that, because I like both. And actually, I've been waiting for the right motivation to get back in the other challenges. But anyway, back to what I was saying there before about the whole... No, never mind. 
had an idea and then I lost it. it. Sucks when that happens. But anyway, as I was saying there before that, before that, if you do like what you're seeing, you know, feel free to throw some likes down there, comments, suggestions, feedback, so constructive criticisms and all that. Don't forget about the Saturday Showcase. All that helps fuel my little channel. So until next time, everybody, keep being awesome. Keep having a good one. Bye.